Okay, good morning. Welcome back. So today we're talking about nature and science. I love it, I love it, I love it. First up, of course, we got the products of the day, but remember at the end of the video, I have a yay or a nay, and today it's definitely a yay. It's a super cool science product I wanna show you. Now, even if you are like, I'm not gonna buy this curriculum, I'm gonna show you two lessons so you can take ideas from them anyway. So stay tuned and see what it's all about just because I'm telling you, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful curriculum. It is for K to grade three. Now first, products of the day, let's talk. So an idea I had is, so when we do picnics is a lot of times we'll just go out to the front yard, bring a blanket and I'll bring a stack of books and they'll eat while I read to them. If you wanna up this, I was like, well, let me pack a cooler. But then I thought, no, 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 that's the cool people use a backpack cooler that you can carry with you. And I was like, well, I want to do some ice cream sundaes at the park, but you can't bring ice cream because it's going to melt. So what could I do? I could do yogurt and just bring the toppings as if you were doing sundaes, right? If you're, as if you're doing ice cream sundaes, just bring, I mean, you want to get fancy little mason jars. I'm just going to bring plastic bags of each and then we can just sprinkle them on or I'll have a spoon and whatever someone wants. I'll spoon it on. So you can have granola, you can have strawberries, you can have, you know, I don't know, sprinkles, whatever you want to put on it and enjoy that like kind of, you know, a festive picnic. You can also bring your art supplies, which this curriculum gave me the idea to, to bring your art supplies to wherever you're going so you can draw and you can paint or, you know, whatever you feel like there. Okay, so props of the day. Props of the day, first I want to show you my chair. I bring it so many places with me, so many places, because it's less than two pounds. It's less than two pounds. I had those chairs that you put on your back. I didn't like them because they were too heavy and awkward. They were heavy and awkward and eventually they just broke. But this one I've had for years now and I just bring it, I mean, I bring it to beaches, I bring it to parks, I bring it to really anywhere because it fits in my backpack or I can just carry it. So anyway, I think it's super cool. And it was like 20 bucks. And don't think it's just for tiny people because when I was reading reviews before I bought it, there was a lot of people that said, or a few people that said, you know, I'm heavier, so I didn't think that this would be good for my back. I didn't think it'd be good to get. And I was worried about my back, which is why I read a lot of reviews. No, it's a great chair. It's a great chair. It's a great chair. I don't know what else to say. It's a great chair. So there you go. That's one of the products that I just love. Another product that I found online that I think is super cool is a cork boat. What I love about the cork boat is, so all the pieces come and you assemble it, but your job is to create the sail. So you can use a leaf, you can use, you know, you can make it out of cloth, you can make whatever you want. Your job is to create the sail and then you have a little floatable cork boat that you can take outside into the world with you or inside, because I like doing nature sometimes inside my house as opposed to outside. All right, let me tell you about two free resources. My free resource of the day is So Seek by iNaturalist. This curriculum told me about this app. Um, th that's how I heard of it. And uh, yeah, they recommend this app and basically any living thing, whether it's a flower, whether it's an animal, you take a picture of it and it'll identify it for you. And you don't, I guess it said you don't need internet for it either. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. So it's Seek by iNaturalist. And lastly is if you wanna go for a nature walk in your neighborhood, Teachers Pay Teachers has a, I guess it's like a, it's a free scavenger hunt, but in your neighborhood. So it's a free nature scavenger hunt, but in your neighborhood. So, oh, do you see flowers? Oh, do you see someone on a bike? So you don't have to go out into nature in order to have a scavenger hunt because not all of us live near forests. All right, all right, all right. Well, you guys are gonna be looking at the screen at the same things I am. And like I said, I'm gonna show you two lessons today and they're pretty sweet. Okay, so first thing I want you to know about this curriculum as we go through it is these are the topics that it covers. So it basically puts them into different sections, right? So we got autumn, you also got winter, you got spring. But they cover, like look up Poppy's babies down at the bottom. That's the first, that's the first lesson we're gonna cover, or the first section. So it goes into babies, habitat, pond, and special lessons. Special lessons are my favorite. Those are recipes, those are handicrafts. They're just, they're pretty cool. I'm gonna show you under Poppy's babies what they got going on. So you can take a look and see, hey, what's a lesson like in here? And now you will know. Okay, so remember we got 72 lessons. Um, that this comes with. So I'm just gonna go into one. So basically this is based on the book, um, Jill Barklum. She does those, I don't know if you've read them, but I've recommended them on my book list before. Uh, the Brembley's Hedge ones, they're really cute. They're really cute. She's got like seasonal ones, they're very cute. Now what comes in with the curriculum, I will tell you on the screen. 
Okay, so look at the pictures though. So this is such a pretty, it's so pretty. So this is babies. So we're talking about, you know, babies, animal babies, nature babies, new babies, lookalike babies, naming the babies. How, what I love is that the science element of this is how in science do we name stuff? So I think, I also think that's pretty cool. So then we're gonna go into field work here. So field work is a search for life cycles. So it's very, so when you have, so you have an outside lesson and usually, and I've noticed an inside lesson too. So you can do, so you don't, if you're not a nature person, you can still do it. So for example, for this one, we're talking about butterflies. So let's get a blanket and wrap yourself up as if you're a butterfly and you're, you know, you're settling down for winter and then, or go outside and let's look and see what we can find for critters and see what stage of their life cycle they're in. Critters, I don't know, insects. Um, and then also, of course, you can get, you know, they recommend too, if you want to get a butterfly, I don't even know what it's called, where they go through the chrysalis, they go through all that butterfly garden, I think it's called. And then here, it's gonna show you about life cycles. So see, it's got really beautiful pages. So once you look at these, the frog, the butterfly, the honeybee, the ladybug, the cosmos, and the bird, you can go out, okay, what stage, when you see something in nature, what stage is that? And you could talk about it, you can record it in your notebook that you have. So they're very easy lessons where you learn some information as well. So then habitat would be the next one, but let's go down to, I wanna show you the handicrafts one. It's my favorite on this one. I just love the handicrafts. So the handicrafts, so then we go through the pond. It talks about the pond. It's got some indoor, outdoor stuff. Look at this. So this is, is twig weaving. So collect a so collect a fork shaped branch, get some string or yarn, and then some scissors and some natural materials to make some. Look, I don't even what are they called? Twig weaving! Oh my gosh! Like even I could do that. Like this is a handicraft that I could do, and that my youngest would love. Yeah, he would love it. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more lesson, and then there's a recipe down there too that you can do. So that particular one was for beets. So let's go, I'm gonna show you one more thing. Let's go to, so I don't, I don't know if I told you about them yet because I filmed this video a couple times. But so um, the two authors of it is one is she had, she should by now, I think she was getting her PhD in education. So she had her master's in education and the other author homeschooled nine children and also creates um, and designs like nature-based biological units um, to study biology. Right here, hibernate. Habonet. So you're gonna learn some words too. They call them wonder words. And so the wonder words for here are hibernate and hibernation and torpo, a word I did not know, which is a time of complete inactivity. Torpo. I assume that means when you're sleeping, you are a you have you torpo? You're torpo you're torporing. I don't know. Torpo. You are in torpo. Okay, so field work. So this is another inside one. So you need like four Ziploc sandwich bags, um, four plates with ice cubes, some small feathers, which would be the most difficult thing to find, except that craft feathers are fine. So you can find those pretty much anywhere. And a stick of butter at room temperature. And so you're basically creating, you're gonna show you know, how animals keep themselves warm. So I think that's very cool. What else do we got? Okay, see, so how animals keep warm. Then after the experiment, it's got definitions like blubber coat, undercoat, air coat, outer coat. So I just think it, it teaches your child some important biology and at the same time it's easy. Like they're gonna remember these terms because you're not sitting down reading from you know a giant textbook full of information and they have to remember what's important to know. No, you're like, this is what's important to know, which I really like. I like that there's not a lot of wasted, um, there's not a lot of uh, busy work. I do not like busy work and there's not in here. So forest to table. So for example, another forest to table that they have here is the spiced almonds. So these people a number of years ago lived in Germany, in the Alps in Germany, which is where we are. And so it's, so I get where they're coming from that people learn a little differently here. Yeah, and here's a recipe to make spined almonds. So I think it's very cool. And we have gotten them here in winter, as a matter of fact, spiced almonds. Okay, and here, I'll give you the last example of a handicraft for the birds. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? Forage in your yard for natural animal friendly ingredients with no dyes or artificial sugar. I just think, and then they also study a picture too. So there's a picture that you study as well, which, so I'm telling you. So when I first saw the curriculum, again, I thought it was pricey and I was like, there's no way I'm paying 265 bucks. Like, is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hands down it is. Even if you took off the books that they recommended, I mean, you can essentially do this curriculum without anything else. Like you don't need 
the additional books. Um, but they have a bunch of books you can get from the library and the books and my, the GoPro's on two of the books that I got them from the library just to see. And they're my favorite type of books because they have, it's a story, but it's also a real life story, but it's done for kids age. So I think that, yeah, I think it's a great curriculum. I could not rave about it more. It's not secular. It's not Christian. It is for everyone, if you will. So there's nothing offensive you're going to find if you're Christian. There's nothing offensive you're going to find if you're secular. I think it's great. Okay. So now that I've showed you that awesome, awesome, awesome gift, let's talk about the product of the day, science cards. Now remember, I'm all about breakfast books. So anything you can do at the breakfast table to knock out some subjects, I'm all for. And they have these cards. They have like the history cards, they got everything. So take a look at them. So like you, hey, what's an animal cell? So today we're studying an animal cell. And then on the back there, it's got just what are the parts of it? What are some parts of the animal cell? Okay, so take a look at this. It's got the plant cell. And what are some parts of the plant cell? So, you know, every day study it for like a year or I don't know, six months, however many cards there are. And then go back over it again. Or every day for a week at the breakfast table, you bring it up and you talk about it and you go over the definitions. And then that way it's in their short, it'll get into their long-term memory. So when they get older and they actually want to utilize it, they don't have to memorize and get it into their long-term memory. It's already in there and now they just have to learn how to apply it. There you go, these are from Classical Conversations. Um, Classical Conversations is a Christian company, but as I was looking through here, I did not find any mentions of God on these, on these particular cards, so I think it's open to anyone. I think it's another product open to anyone. All right, and they're 22 bucks for, I don't know how many you get. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. I hope you liked it, I hope you had a good time, and I hope we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Can you say please like and subscribe? Hey, why do I? And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>